everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun new tutorial for you today. It's this fun nude floral design. As always, start out with a good base coat. I'm using CND Sticky Base. The polish that I'm using for the base is Topless and Barefoot by Essie. Now this is one of my picks for my favorite nude Essie from my Essie Club Collab. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. But I did two coats of this on each nail, and then I did a top coat on top of each one. Let that dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you can start doing your nail design. I use white acrylic paint for this design just because it makes it easier. It doesn't dry as fast as nail polish and it's just easy to work with. And I'm using my smallest dotting tool and my Wistonia brush that I love and I'll have links to the products down below. Just put a little drop of paint on a paper plate and then you're going to get your brush and some water and you're just going to mix that in a little bit. You want to thin it out just slightly, not a lot, you don't want it too thin but just enough that it's a little bit easier to work with. So mix that in. And just before I paint, I like to wipe a little excess off and make a little finer point on my brush. So start off painting the swirls. So you're just gonna go around and make little swirls and all these swirls end at the side of the nail or at the base of the nail. I think it adds more interest if you have the swirls going different directions and going out different ways. And there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You're just gonna go ahead and fill it in however it looks good, leaving enough space for some flowers and a few dots. And once I'm finished with this nail, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my other accent nail. Okay, now I'm gonna take out my dotting tool. I'm using the smallest end, and I'm gonna go ahead and do these flowers. I did the flowers mostly at the base of the swirl, and then I just added half a flower at the top to kind of fill in that space. And I am trying to leave a little center where the nude polish kind of shows underneath, so it has a little bit of a center. If your paint does get a little thick as you keep going and dipping back, you can go ahead and wipe it off on a towel and then go back and get fresh paint. And once you're finished with the flowers, you can go ahead and add dots in any of that negative space that you see in there, just to your liking. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other accent now. Now for cleanup, I'm just gonna take my little e.l.f. smudge brush and some acetone and wipe that up. And you just wanna be careful, I'm kind of staying in this little area because it can spread to other parts of the nail. So you just wanna stay in that little area as you clean. It does take a little bit longer, but then it won't smudge. Acrylic paint does not take long to dry at all, so just make sure that it's dry and then go ahead and add your fast dry top coat. I'm using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. If you've followed me by now, you know that it's my absolute favorite. And that's the final look. I hope you guys like this. Give me a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.